Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel of DCC NIT Agatala. And in this video, we are going to discuss problem C1 and C2 of Core Forces Global Round 26. A uh, very simple problem if you have made some observations. So if you haven't read the question, I will explain you it once. So basically, you have been given an array A of length n. You will start with C is equal to 0 and you can set, you can, you have to perform either one of these two operations. Either set C2 C plus AI or set C2 absolute of C plus AI. And at the end, it should be said that C should be as maximum as possible. So for example, let's take this first test case, 10 minus 9 minus 3 and 4. So at first C is equal to 0. And when you are at this position, C will become 10. When you are at this index, C will become 1. Even if you use first operation or second operation, it won't matter because 1 is positive only and absolute value of positive is positive only. So when you are at this index, either by if you use first operation, it will become minus 2, 1 plus minus 3 is minus 2, or it will become 2 if you take absolute value, second negation operation. And at the fourth index, you can make C to either minus 2 plus 4, which is 2, or 2 plus 4, which is 6. So you can see 6 is maximum value of C. So you have to output 6. Now from this, uh, you might have been thinking that uh, at the end you have to perform all the you have to see all the ways so it might be better to uh, make a dp of minimum and maximum make a solution of dp1 min and max but there's a very simpler solution to it and it will make the harder version of this problem also simple so we will look at that uh, solution only so uh, Let's make a graph, okay? Like simple uh, x, y graph. So our y axis will be value of c, okay? And okay. So first of all, we'll start with c is, c is equal to zero, and then we move to first index. So imagine if we that that value is some positive value, so our c will go up. Now what if the next value is also some positive value? It will go again up. Now what if next value is negative, it will decrease the value of C. Now what if our next value is very much negative, so it will decrease our value to C. Now at this point, I have an option to make it to, uh, I have an option to make it positive by using negation operation, which is second one. So imagine uh, this is some minus X, this is some minus X. So. I have an option to make it to plus x. I have an option to raise this point over here. Okay. So what if I use my negation operation over here? So my point will go over here. Now let's move forward again. Now what if the next value is some positive value? Then you get very negative value. Okay. Now as you can see, uh, wait a minute. Okay. Now, as you can see, this uh, value is more negative than this previous one. So let's check that minus y. Now I have an I have an option to make it to plus y. Okay. I have an option to raise it over here. So I can use negation operation and raise it over there. But is there any possible way I could have raised it again higher? So if you observe clearly that, then you can observe that the lower your this value goes the higher it will go so is there any uh, case where this value over here would go something somewhere over here below so yes it can if we didn't use negation operation over here so our graph would look like if we didn't use negation operation over here our graph would look something like this we go like this everything here up to this is same just we will not go up we won't use negation operation then we go upwards and then we go again below now at this point i will use negation operation okay now i will go up this high okay now you can see we i we have greater value now what if we go again below below the x-axis now negation operation over here will be our wrong choice we will use negation operation at this point so you can see that just you have to use negation operation only one time 
that too when our sum will become as small as possible so uh yeah so for example our ideal c will c graph will look like this something over here like this it might go like this it might go like this this and we will use negation operation over here and then this will go like this so we use negation operation over here okay at this point only once and rest all is sum only right rest all is sum only so what you have to answer is just find this point if this is uh this length is mini just you have to answer total sum minus two times mini two times mini because this is one time mini you have to delete this and you have to add this so sum minus two times mini so yeah that is very simple sum means total sum okay now let's jump to uh, before looking c1 score let's jump to c2 problem only so because that is also very simple so in this problem you need to find how many times you can obtain that value k uh, like even if you choose to perform different operation on some of the index so like for example this is this this you can perform either option 1 operation 1 or you can perform operation 2 it won't matter because c is positive only right so you can choose this index you have two options over here two option 1 or option 2 you have two option over here you have two option over here you have two option whenever it's positive you have two option over here also but you don't have two options over here because you have to choose first operation only because if you use the negation operation then it will go upwards which we don't want that so just make a count variable and whenever the sum is greater than zero beyond if this is ith index this negation point so whenever our sum is greater than zero just do count plus plus till this negation point and when you reach this point uh, here some elements will be remaining right so whatever operation you do with this element it won't matter because you perform once negation operation right so it won't matter whatever you do with this so you have again two operations for all these two options for all this so let's say this is ith position where you perform negation operation so n minus i minus one of one elements are remaining over over this side n minus i minus one elements are remaining over this side and you can do count number of operations uh count number of elements where uh you can use two operations so i mean to say that the answer would be 2 to the power count plus n minus i minus 1 so this is the only answer and you need to yes this is the final answer and just do percent mod so yeah uh, now I will show you the code let's just see the code of c1 first so So this is the code of C1. You take the input n, I make a vector of size n, uh, ans, uh, this is of no use right now. Just store mini where your minimum sum will be stored and use sum where your total sum will be stored. So you take element one by n, uh, one by one n elements, you add those elements to sum and you will store the minimum of sum comma mini so like sum will go like this if sum at some point will go over here then this will be our mini this will be our mini or if sum goes like this then this will be our mini so just store this and at the end just store uh, uh, output sum minus two times mini 
now let's see the c2 one so same thing uh as mini sum just read uh, the array uh, store the mini now observe that if your mini never goes beyond zero that means your graph will look something like this so at every point you will have two two uh, options right you can use either first option or second option answer won't change so just output uh, two to the power of n okay uh, what this power to array will do is it will return two to the power i i will show you later how just now understand this okay so uh but at some point if my mini goes beyond zero like this one minute if my mini goes beyond zero like this then i need to do negation over here and then i need to go like this so i need to calculate all these points so i did the same just make a, a again new variable sum to is equal to zero and number of positive will number of times when the sum is positive uh oh that variable so again add elements to sum okay now whenever my sum will become mini like we will reach that negation point uh at that point we just need to output how many times our sum was positive behind that value so if that is our uh, pause value you can see that whenever my sum will be greater than 0 my pause will increase so this pause plus the elements remaining after that i th position after that negation position will be n minus i minus 1 so pause plus n minus i minus 1 and you need to raise it uh, okay to the 2 to the power this so my power uh, to pause plus n minus i minus 1 will return this value and yeah this is the only answer you need to output so hope you get that uh now only one last remaining thing is what that power to array is so instead of always calling a uh, binary bin expo of 2 to the power something just make an array uh at 0 to index store 1 and then keep multiplying 2 to the next one okay so you will get a uh, power i will store to the power i so yeah very simple thing hope you get the answer uh, if you have any confusion uh, put that in comment section and we'll, i'll see you in the next video bye